We finished up at Knott's and we have dinner plans with friends, but I posted what a, or Chris posted what a great day we had and someone asked if we had been to the cauldron and we were like, no. So we thought we'd go check it out. The cauldron is right down the street from Knott's. See, you can see the poster. So it's just about uh, probably three or four minute walk from Knott's Berry Farm. And What's the cauldron? It's supposed to be like a fairy tale witch themed bar. Ooh, so I thought we would spooky. check it out. <laughs> you guys, how many today? Two. The two off. Yeah, the inside and out. We like to inside. inside and okay. check it out. Yeah. yeah. Right this way. Awesome. Have you guys been here before? No. Oh, we got fun. So we are in yeah. this, um, this is the you best spot. Oh my god. Get the best of everything. Our menu is so clever. Okay, I'm having the Naughty Kid Martini, K-N-O-T-T-Y, because it had boysenberry cotton candy, Smirnoff vodka. I know, I'm like, I totally bought into the 100th anniversary. We get, in and Oregon, we get a, far. yeah, in, um, in Oregon we have a lot of marionberry, and we do have boysenberry, but everything's kind of marionberry flavored, so I just like, I love berries, I just bought it. Will, will, so. Oregon, will other Oregonians kick me out if I say I like boysenberry a little bit more than marionberry? No, I think as long as you like berries. Okay, so this has boysenberry cotton candy, Smirnoff vodka, and lemon juice. And you just saw Ben pour it all over the cotton candy. Look at that color. Look at the color on that. Look, I'm not great with a martini glass. I'm a little too clumsy, but let's give it a try. Oh it's really good. So first off, I love sour. We've talked about this before. So the lemon juice makes it sour, but the boysenberry gives like a little smidge of sweet. I did ask Ben about my last drink, about the um, the Ravenclaw. He said it was called Berry Combier, and he said it was basically like a berry liqueur, like a mixed berry liqueur. So I got the deets on that. Chris, your drink is gorgeous. It's called the Devil's what? Devil's Margarita. They told me not to mix it. It's tequila, lime juice, Look. and a red wine float. The last time I had a Devil's Margarita was in Bend, Oregon. It was Satan Circus, wasn't it? It was called Satan Circus, and it dissolved my insides, and I was never the same. I think this one's going to be different, though. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's good. So there's like red wine on top and other stuff at the bottom. What is it? <laughs> I forget. Yeah. And that's after the it's it's basically it's basically a tequila wine with a red wine float, but you get both in each drink, so it's not spicy. Like the good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> they have this great patio space. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna go down with a hand in his ass. And I was like, yeah, his ass. His ass. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you order? 
I got Cthulhu's Revenge. Very tasty. Uh, it's rum. It's Kraken rum, which I like. And uh, cranberry juice, orange bitters, and ginger ale. It's very good. Good mixture. So it's kind of like, what do they call that? Um, like an old fashioned? It's kind of like the cross between an old fashioned and what's that other seafaring thing to name? Oh, the dark and stormy. Yeah, right. That's it. But at the end of this, I start turning into a frog person and then Cthulhu comes and destroys us all. Ooh. Yeah. Would you have? I got the Ravenclaw, two words, so there's not any sort of copyright infringement. <laughs> it's Gosling's Dark Rum, pineapple juice, and a float of, uh, oh my gosh, I don't even know what that is. Berry Combier? Combier? Does anyone know? I've never had it before. I should have asked Ben, our bartender, our server. Oh, I'm going to ask him when he comes. I haven't even tried it yet. Hold on. It has a float, so let me, let's like... That's really good. It's, um... Oh, that's really good. It's, um... A little sweet because it has pineapple juice and it has the flow of the berry but it's not as sweet as if you just have like a screwdriver or like a like another tropical drink oh good though and also the pros are always you should try this I have my eye on you. <laughs> Go over there. Come here. Oh. He's real looking around. Okay. She's going to show us some of the secret rooms. Back up a little bit. Thank you. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. That's fantastic. I know, right? I didn't know it existed until I started working. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Isn't it so beautiful, though? No, that's gorgeous. Is that all painted? Um. I'm not sure. It feels like it. Thank you for showing us the secret entrance. Of course. Ah, oh, that left here. Okay, we're good. We just left the cauldron bar. Spooky, cool. What did I, you think? I loved it. Their drinks were great. I'm actually bummed that we have dinner reservations because I wanted to eat all of their food. Everyone around us was talking about how, how great the food was. It looked awesome. The drinks were awesome. Yeah. And the atmosphere was super cool. The bar, it's a the small service? spot, but it's just the atmosphere is super cool. And the service was great. Yeah. Sorry, our lift is coming. Start our again. service was great yes. too. So it's like, it was just fantastic. No, it was great. And just walking distance away 
from my very first job when I was 17, working at the key shop at Sears. It doesn't exist anymore, but it's literally right over there. I don't know what that but tent is. I think like, the circus is in like town. It's like a two or three minute walk from Knott's Berry Farm. Yeah. So if you want to have a cocktail and some apps or something after you spend the day there, this is yeah. a great place to go. We had a lot of fun. I love the atmosphere. The I know, servers I were stay. fantastic. I want to stay. Let's stay.